the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade also have competent people. So I'm very confident that we'll be able to continue that work, that amazing work, that historic work that Minister of um, Courtney did when he was the Minister of, of, of um, Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade. I think that um, I think he so far has gone down in history as being the best foreign minister on foreign trade and we did not want to lose him but I understand that he also has other commitments and it was a commitment that he made to me three years ago um, and as much as I would have wanted for him to stay you know he felt it was time to to move on but also I'm very grateful that he decided to stay on as the minister I'm sorry as the leader of government business in the Senate and to also to have um, cabinet privileges. By that, I simply mean we want to follow up. This is not the first time that this happened. Remember the late Fred Martinez, the UDP government, also when he was the leader of government business, had him attend cabinet meetings. For us, it's important to, to continue to have ministers, well, former minister of, um, Courtney, now as the leader of government business, to be able to also participate in cabinet meetings whenever he can because also he has a very busy agenda.